Hey guys, Grithamir. Now we're on the planet Rogar. Let's get into it. Alright, so we have to go that way because we don't have the Hydro thingy yet. Alright, jump up there. Oh, we need to use our blaster here. We need Danny DeVito. Nice. Alright, I'm shaking off the rust. I'm getting there a little bit. Don't flame me too much, please. Also, I, I think I'm pretty satisfied with the audio. Um, the music's gonna be a little loud, but it's because the music audio, for some reason, is tied in with the cutscene audio. So, we're gonna have to keep it how it is if you guys want to hear the cutscenes. Oh, I remember these things. This is actually one of my favorite uh, levels, uh, Blackwater City. Got some gloves. Alright, let's use these. Do your work, minions. Nice. They're actually pretty OP. Alright, let's go up. I do remember though the combat does get better because the combat right now um, it's really jank. Like this is the first one that I know they've really improved the combat later on in games. Uh, just how the camera and like the strafing and stuff later on. But I don't think you can strafe in this one. Like I think you're supposed to use the triggers. Yeah, you can't do that. I'm gonna look in controls real quick and see if you can do anything. All right, I don't think I can change anything about. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can sh strafe until the second one. They put that option into the game, which really makes it so much better. I remember going through these and go through the first one, and then I um I. Uh, Play this one, I'm like, oh yeah, I like it. And then I went through the second one, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I, I see the improvement. I see the improvement in the game. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get some ammo first. Right, put our little minions out. Yeah. I don't have to do anything. Easy. Alright, look at these. Oh, look who it is. I remember this guy. Rhino for your robot. Trade you. Well, okay, Ratchet. I'm kidding. Sorry, he's not for sale. What's a rhino anyway? Rip you a new one. What did you just say to me? R Y N O. Rip ya a new one. Why, that's the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. I know it's worth a lot of bolts. He must have stolen it from the Blarg. Stolen? Look, trash can. Did I say anything about it being hot? You better watch your mouth or I'll... Wait, don't tell me. Rip ya a new one. 150,000 bolts. Now, I'll be honest, if I want to get it, um, I won't do it in the video, but I might do the hoverboard uh, race glitch. I don't know if you can do it on the PS3. I know on the original PS2 you could do it. And basically you just collect a bunch of bolts. Uh, it's a little glitch, but... Because I don't think we'll be able to get it without doing something like that. Alright. 
Let's send our little slaves down there. sit there. Oh. Get our life there. Nice. Now I know there's a gold bolt here. We're just not going to go for it. Oh, I remember this. Okay, we're going to go up. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna show you a funny, funny thing in this Welcome game. Welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition. Captain Clark it's kind of funny. In Insomniac has this in the game. A platinum zoomerator. Perhaps that will be the proof of your accomplishments that Skid's agent requires. Wait, do you guys mean Skid McMarks? Yeah, Skid couldn't make it, so we're here to, you know, fill in for him. Guess we'll see about that. All right, guys, watch this. Um, I think you have to do like backflips or something. Maybe I'm going crazy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Look, there. <laughs> You guys noticed something, um, yeah. Somniac, uh, kind of funny for that. Alright, so after that little Easter egg, let's get into the race. Alright, I'll be honest, this is like my fifth attempt trying to do this. These controls are not that great. Um, very hard to control this hoverboard. I might have to change my camera speed. Um, I have it on fast and it seems a little jank. Or maybe I'm just bad at the game. Oh man, that was close. I'm not gonna risk it. Ah, oh. No jump here, then we jump. distinct pleasure to introduce this year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet and Clank. Hey, look, <laughs> that's us. Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T-15 Platinum Zoomerator. 
Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market. Well, folks, that's all the time we have tonight. Remember to set your info bots to the Quark Classic Channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon, starring yours truly. Thank you, and have a Quark-tastic day. Nice. Got the Zoomerator. All right, let's go back to the ship. Okay, game. All right. All right, now we need to go back to Iridia and get the prize from the agent, or no, go back to the agent and Iridia that wanted us to do the race. So let's get to the end there again. Oh wait, we can just see this. Watch this. Pretty sure it's here. Yep. Nice. Fantastic! You got it! Great work, kid. So, are you gonna represent me? You bet, kid. And as a signing bonus, I've got... this. Cool helmet. That is a sonic summoner. It is used to attract sand mice. Right, and it's all yours. <laughs> well, I'm off to finalize the paperwork. I'll have my people call your people. Do you have people? The Sonic Summoner allows you to interact with the mysterious and intelligent sand mice species. Despite their innocent appearance, sand mice are very effective and aggressive hunters. Simply equip the Sonic Summoner when you are near a sand mouse house and a mouse will emerge to greet you. If the mouse likes you, it may offer a bit of high caliber tactical assistance. Cool. Oh, I think we have the, um,. We'll need the grav boots for that next little part there. Alright, let's go back to planet Rogar. Here's slingshot out. That's so satisfying. If you equip the hydro displacer. Alright, hydro displacer, there it is, right there. Cool. Cool. 
forgot we got this weapon. I was like, do we even have this weapon? Um, oh, yeah, 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 I remember what we need to do. Okay. Alright, so we need to go up. I actually need to put this back in. Oh, okay, not that. That's right. I'm remembering. Did I want to blow up there? Alright, so I remember doing this as a little kid. And I had so much trouble back in the day. Um, I literally could not beat it. It took me like a month and I actually remember beating it at my friend's house and I immediately when I beat it, I knew what to do. So I, I just said, see ya, I gotta go. And I, um, let me get there. I, uh, went home, beat it and I was so happy and then I actually beat the rest of the game that night. But it's kind of funny. Um, I had so much trouble with this as a little kid trying to beat this part. I just couldn't do it. I didn't know really how to do the whole like leap forward thing like this. But it was so funny. And now I'm probably gonna do this on the first go. But... Literally, it, I think it was even longer than a month. I just could not beat it. I remember always dying right here. Like, I would always die right there, and I'd be like, oh. But, I did it on the first try now. So, I'm evolving, at least. Let's get this, and we'll watch the cutscene here. Hey, hey, hey! Press conference is over! Captain Quark don't want no more reporters bugging him in his trailer. Oh, you see, my friend and I need to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your walking camera? You paparazzi make me sick. Now beat it! But, sir, I'm sure the Captain Quark will understand once we... Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the captain in his underpants, underpants. then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million volts! You've got it all wrong! Meanwhile, I'm stuck here making six bolts an hour, and I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate quark. So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. In advance. 4,000 bolts. You see how it works. You grease the hinges, the door opens. Captain Quark? What's that? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the hub. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planets. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friends, we're all in grave danger. And I believe that together, we can put a stop to this madness. Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet, I've been keeping an eye on you. And I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean, I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question. But Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contractions? Can you quickly quark? Can can you quarkly quit? Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself. Learn the secret and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment, your results may vary. Mm. 
Meet me at... Uh, uh, meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet. What do you think? We won't fail you, sir. We promise. Alright, guys. I'm going to cut it out here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. You guys have a good one.